today at the Manchester Museum, we're sending families on a quest. We're to travel around the museum, exploring all the cases, having a good look through all the displays, finding the real-life animals and finding their Pokemon cousins as well. So the kids and the parents have both been involved. Once they've done that, they come back and find us and we give them a sticker like this one to reward them. Part of this quest today is going to be people learning how biodiversity is critical for our enjoyment of nature in our day-to-day -day lives, but it's also played a major part in things that we love like art and gaming. Children are looking at some of the animals in our collections in a different way. So really getting them to think about how animals live today and that they might be in face of extinction, but maybe the future conservation issues as well. I thought I was interested in engagement and getting young people involved in museums. That's a line of work I'd like to go into. So it was a brilliant opportunity really to try and explore avenues of doing that and um, do it in the context of a really fun game as well, I think. So we worked together to come up with the display that's at the Manchester Museum in the study and the family activity that's going on today. I enjoyed the bit where we were drawing all the pictures and finding all the different kinds of Pokemon. It's a local amenity, the museum, for, for people that live around here. Um, it's a place that they can take their children on the weekends if it's raining or if it's not. It's somewhere that they feel that they can go to visit. So if there's something like this going on that they can offer their kids, something fun, engaging, that they recognise as well. So Pokemon Quest really does fit into the, the range of um, engagement activities that we do. I think that's great and they see it as somewhere that they can return to again and again.